Celestial Saturday, brought to you by <gasps> On this episode of Celestial Saturdays, we have a guest question. It's Lindsay. Okay, I'm gonna keep it light for my first question. My question is, when is the best time for Laird and I to go on holiday in the next, sit in from now until December? That is my question. I hope that works with tarot cards. Maybe, well, just let me know, okay. Okay, Lindsay, I have put a tarot card down to represent each month from now until December. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We're gonna see what the tarot says about travel. June, page of swords upside down. Mm, doesn't sound good. July, ooh, wheel of fortune upside down again. Mm, that one, uh, that one could be cool if you went traveling then, but your whole world could change. <laughs> August. King of Wands upside down. Still not seeing a lot of travel. September, Ace of Pentacles. Upside down, all of these are upside down. I don't understand why, it's pretty crazy. Ace of Pentacles, again, not really indicative of travel. Um, where are we? June, July, August, September, October. Nine of Cups upside down. Now, that is known as the wish card, so Potentially October could work for doing whatever you want. And if it's travel, then October wouldn't be off the off the table. And let's see about November. Four of Pentacles. Nope, that is not probably really a good time unless that Four of Pentacles indicates that you travel somewhere that makes you feel like you can't afford it. And December. Upside down Two of Swords. Definitely not. How crazy is it that this entire reading was upside down except for one out of seven options? Anyway, based on these cards that I have received, in response to your question on when is the best time for you to travel from now until December, I'm gonna have to go with October. We got an upside down nine of cards, so um, because it's upside down, I think that you might not think that's the right time for some reason. But being that the Nine of Cups is a wish card and all of the rest of these cards have nothing to do with travel and most of them indicate, in fact, challenges or reasons maybe not to travel, I'd go with October. There you go. Hope you found that helpful, Lindsay. See you in the next one.